Hey everyone, excited to introduce you to our new upscaling tool, which lets you transform low res images into high quality, high resolution imagery. We've kept things simple and streamlined, but we've also given you control so you can decide how closely you want the upscaled image to follow your original. You can start by dropping your image into the upscale box. Here, we're using a bird, got a lot of vibrant colors, and we're gonna go ahead and use our general upscaler at a scale of four. Let's go ahead and enter in a prompt. We're going to try to adhere to the existing style, focusing more on a photorealistic output, and we'll keep our creativity and structure slider set to zero, the default. Let's go ahead and compare the original image in our assets to our newly created result. On the left, we have our new upscaled output and on the right, we have our original image. We can see that the upscaling process has added a lot of additional detail, giving us a much sharper and clearer image at a significantly larger size. If you wanna see the image at full resolution outside of Invoke, you can always right click and open the image in a new tab. Then you can use your browser tools to zoom in and see all of that additional detail up close. There are also some advanced options for changing how closely this resembles your original and how creative you want the upscaling process to be in using your prompt. Creativity is going to control how creative and how different from your original image the output will be based on your prompt. The structure slider is going to create compositional guardrails to make sure that the upscaling process matches the general shape and position of different elements of your original image. If our creativity slider is at 10, we will have the maximum amount of creative infusion from the generation process. Turning the structure slider to 10 will rigidly control the upscaling process using your original image. In addition to these advanced upscaling controls, you also still have the ability to change your AI model as well as any concept models that you want to add to the generation process. You also have the ability to change the scheduler, the steps, and the CFG scale, just like you do in a normal generation. For upscaling, you might wanna try the KDPM, to scheduler, which is a particularly good scheduler for getting extra detail while avoiding artifacts. If you wanna try changing the style of the image and giving a little bit more flexibility during the upscale process to reimagine some of those details, you can use a different prompt. In this example, we'll go ahead and use a prompt that's maybe designed a little bit more for a painterly look. We'll increase our creativity a little bit and decrease our structure just to give it a little bit more freedom to reimagine some of those details. And then we'll go ahead and invoke. As we can see here, our newly generated image has a much more painterly look. We can compare that to the recent upscale that we did for photorealism and see how some of the details changed during the upscale process. The new upscaling tab is an incredibly powerful tool and will give you the ability to generate much larger images than previously was possible using generative technologies. We're excited for the feature and looking forward to seeing what you create with it.